Hey now, I'm back with another exclusive trading system that has been proven profitable over a series of 100 consecutive trades. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to make it even better. All you have to do is grab hold of that subscribe button like this guy is grabbing those waves. I call this system WaveForce, and like most trading systems, it can be adapted to Forex, crypto, option stocks, or any other instrument that has significant volume and market participants. This strategy uses three free trading view indicators. The first indicator is the Wave Trend Oscillator. I'm going to keep the input settings at default, and for the style, I'm going to uncheck every box except for these two. The traditional way to use this indicator is with buy sell signals, but I'm going to show you an even simpler and more effective way to interpret how this oscillator moves. This study will provide our signal entries. The second free trading view indicator is the force index. I'm going to keep all the inputs at default settings and take the moving average off the chart. The force index is an indicator created by psychologist Alexander Elder. This study measures the strength of a price movement and is primarily used for trend confirmation. On the WaveForce system, we are going to use this study to confirm our entry signals. The third and final trading view indicator is the double exponential movement moving average. I'm going to set the time frame to one day and the length to 100. The style will be a white line. The DEMA was first written about in Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities in January 1994 and is more responsive than a standard exponential moving average. This is basically an indicator of an indicator. We are going to use this study for higher time frame confirmation and trend direction. Let's go over our entry criteria and review some examples. This chart is Euro versus the US dollar for our candles. The rules to enter along on the WaveForce system are first, price must be above the double EMA. Second, the force index histogram must be above the zero line. The third thing we need is a cross up of the wave trend from below the zero line to above the zero line. All of that happens on this candle here. This is our trigger. Wait for the candle to close and place our stop below the previous swing low and target one to one for the first half of our position. When one to one is hit, we move our stop to break even and then target one to two for the remainder of our position. And the second half of this one stops out at break even. If you enjoy this content, make sure to click that like button. We have one more long example. Price is above the DEMA. The wave trend has crossed above the zero line. The force index is above the zero line. This is our trigger. Be sure to always wait for the candle to close. Our stop is below the previous swing low and we target one to one for the first half of our position. When one to one is hit, we move our stop to break even and target one to two for the second half. This one hits target two. This is what I will test for shorts. First, price must be below the double EMA. Second, the force index histogram must be below the zero line. Third, Third, we are looking for a cross down of the wave trend indicator below the zero line. All of that happens on this candle. This is our trigger. We place our stop above the previous swing high and target one to one for the first half of our position. When one to one is hit, we move our stop to break even and target one to two for the remainder of our trade. And this one hits target two. I'm going to show you one more quick short example. Price is below the DEMA. The wave trend has crossed below the zero line. The force index is below the zero line. This is our trigger. We place our stop above the previous swing high and target one to one for half our position. When one to one is hit, we move our stop to break even and then target one to two. And this one hits one to two. I'm going to give you some ideas on how we can make this system better along with a trader's landing score. And now it's time to do what I do. If you are enjoying this content, please hit that like button. Remember, this is just 100 trades on one instrument. If you are thinking of using the system, please do all the required testing and be sure to let our community know what you discover. This test was done on the euro versus the US dollar four hour candles. It took about 46 months to find the 100 trades. We had 53 hit our one to one target and of those 53, 38 went on to hit one to two before stopping out. Most wins in a row was five and most losses in a row was six. Gain on the account risking 1% per trade would have been a mediocre 17% but I think this can be significantly increased. More on that in a moment. When you compare this equity curve with other systems tested on this channel, it seems very choppy. And this is a red flag. This system is not optimized. However, the fact that there is an overall uptrend does indicate potential. What score would you give this strategy? Let me know in the comments below. I give this system a trader's landing score of six because it was profitable, but more so because there is a lot of headroom for improvement. But for a four hour chart, I want to see more consistent results. Remember the enemy of great is good. I have three ideas on how we 
can improve the system. Let me preface this by saying I am not really familiar with the force trend. I was just asked by a viewer to do a video on it. So if you have a better way to use it, please let me know. The first issue with the wave trend is there are periods where the market is just choppy and your account gets hacked to pieces. Look here. We have this cluster of entries that just stopped out. One thing that I did was remove the moving average from the force index. And I did that just to see how the histogram works by itself. Similar to the time segmented volume indicator we used in another test. But if I was to test this indicator again, I would add in the moving average to get a finer filter, especially on lower time frames. The second issue with this system is the amount of pullbacks in a trend it misses. Look at this chart. There is not one entry in this whole massive move up. This could be corrected by changing the wave tread settings to be more sensitive. However, that will also lead to more false signals. So another indicator would be needed. During testing, I was thinking about the hybrid SSL. We tested a system in this video that used the custom indicator and the results were pretty good and probably would be even better on the four hour chart. My final suggestion for optimization is your stop loss level. You can see from the results, there was not a lot of profit made overall when target one was hit over the 100 trades. That would indicate that maybe the stop loss level should be changed to increase the win rate and also make target two closer to our entry. I would suggest one of the many stop loss indicators that are out there. My favorite is the ATR as most of you know. Check out this playlist for more profitable systems and have a great day if you want to.